guys, my name is Hillary with Barbell Acres, and today I'm bringing to you another whole animal that we bought for our freezer. Um, this is a whole hog this time, so a whole pig. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited. This is the first time we've actually ever got a whole hog. Um, so we normally just buy like our specific cuts at our local Amish market, as, as you can imagine, is super expensive. So I'm excited to hopefully save money on mostly bacon and pork chops and things. But okay, this is what we got. So, back out here, this is that big freezer, if you watched the last video, it's like taller than me. Okay, so it, it filled all this, I have all these boxes out here of what it hid, but I just want to show you kind of the bacon that we got. Um, this is smoked ham. Another smoked ham. Ham, so yeah. Ham hock. More bacon. And then more bacon in there. So, I don't know, we probably already don't have like 14 left, but it's really not as much bacon as I was kind of hoping for. That's definitely not gonna last us crazy long. So here, this is the first box. We have pork chops predominantly, and I think the organs as well. So this is the tail. There's the heart right there. The kidney. The tongue. Leaf lard, and yeah, so just more pork chops. This whole box is pork sausage. So focus, but yeah, breakfast links of pork sausage. That's one variety. Uh, my kids love sausage, so I did try to get a bunch of those. This is some more pork chops, and then pork bones in this one. It's really just like this one bag of bones, so there really wasn't that many they gave me um, pork boneless butt here I just have pork fat again not that much I mean this will have to be like I guess thawed and just cut up and used um, I've never rendered lard before so I'm excited we do use lard and different things okay and then here we have another variety of sausage um, breakfast links so I don't know, it, it's kind of surprising to me. You know, you think of like a pig as like such a huge animal and I actually don't feel like there's tons here. Um, I'm, I'm also comparing it to our steer, of course, the, the cows that we've always got. So, but yeah, I don't, I don't know. I was hoping this would last us for a long time and we got a lot of sausage, I mean, kind of, but um, not a lot of bacon, which I know bacon is just like a small part of the animal um, in actuality, but yeah. And I don't know if part of it's just like the processor because um, even with our steer this time, I didn't feel like we got as much bones or as many, um, as much of the fat as we did with the last steer that, you know, the Amish, they did it themselves, the processing. So, I don't know. I don't know what we'll do again, <laughs> but regardless, this is a lot of meat and we'll definitely, you know, put it to good use in our home. So, cut sheet here, just gonna quickly read. So, what I asked for was um, chops, of course, spare ribs, Boneless Boston butt, uh, the heart, liver, tongue, kidney, and the tail. I wanted lard. I wanted them to save the bones, save the fat. So I have two 10 pound packs, and that's that's all I got. So, um, and then I got breakfast links and breakfast links maple, and smoked ham hocks, sliced bacon, smoked ham ends and slices, and smoked bacon. So. I really just tried to get as much like sausage, pork chops, and um, bacon as I could. So that's pretty much what we eat pork from. So, anyways, so that is it. Hope that was helpful for you. Um, like I said, this is the first time we've done this, so I'm kind of a noob at it. I don't really know, but that's how we chose to break up our uh, hog this time. Maybe you know it won't work out. I don't know, but we. I basically asked for a lot of bacon and a lot of pork chops. That's predominantly what you know my family eats. 
as a lot of people I feel like are, but um, of course we have other cuts as well. And I did try to save all the bones and the organs and things as much as I could from this processor. Unfortunately, I couldn't save everything and give like the scraps to my chickens and things. But um, totally it all came to about 1400. So yeah, that was that's what the processing fee and with the animal itself. So I think the animal was about 1000 and then the processing fee was about 400. So yeah, I'm excited to see how long that lasts us and I'll definitely keep you posted on that. But if you have ever bought or invested in a whole hog, uh, let me know. I'd love to kind of hear your what you kind of make up and get. Um, and yeah, okay. All right, well, thanks guys, and hope you have a great day.